Welcome back to Contextual Electronics. This video is about adding silkscreen and graphics to your PCBs. Now, this is kind of a flair that you can add to your design once it's done. But, honestly, it's nice to kind of see kind of the graphics you can get into because it's sometimes hard to understand. I mean, obviously, the, with a PCB, you, you get the fun side of it of actually having a PCB at the end. But, uh, you know, actually adding that flair, that extra 10% right at the end of the project, that can really make the difference, especially if you're, you know, deciding to sell a product or uh, show it off at a maybe Maker Faire or similar kind of event. It really can help make your, your board stand out am among a field of others. So let's get started. Uh, open up KiCad Launcher. So I am using a promo board only because this actually has a bunch of graphics already embedded into it. And I will show that as we go into it. So let's open up PCB New. All right, and this is this is the board that we're actually going to be looking at. You can see there's, uh, well, there's a couple things on here. We're going to remove the black back copper. We're going to remove the back silk screen. And we'll remove and the back solder mask is already gone, paste. All right, and then we're going to get rid of the uh, text. There we go. All right. There we go. So if you look at the uh, PCB here, uh, outline the board outline is a little bit thicker, which you may have seen before. That's actually to, to show the router, the actual width of the router I'd like the board house to use. And then uh, we have, you know, red is red is the, well, we can look over here. Red is the copper. Uh, blue is the silk screen. Pink is the solder mask. And then if you look at the render, the uh, pads are in gold. Uh, pads are on the front, sorry. So if we actually get rid of those, we can see the pads appear and disappear. All right, so these are just some of the layers that we're actually looking at here. And first thing we need to do is kind of <laughs> destroy this board. Uh, <laughs> so this is already all set up, obviously, for the stuff I put in here. But we're going to go ahead and remove a lot of this stuff just so it's easier to show how and, and and this is going to be the main focus here this is you know the amp hour is my podcast uh, this is a promotional board we made for it but we're going to go and actually delete these layers first so we mouse over and delete that we're going to mouse over the pink delete that and one more time here there we go all right so we've got a blank canvas with all the other things in there all right so i've already made a lot of these uh, footprints and effectively they are footprints and we'll talk about that in a little bit here but I've already made that and, and you've probably already seen that in the custom silk screen graphics section uh, the the unit of the module 5 which is all about footprints so if you want to watch that you can actually see how we created some of these uh, custom silk screens and also of note you should really check out the fact that it doesn't have to be a silk screen if you noticed those were different layers there and we will we'll be able to actually you know put put graphics into different parts of the design so let's go and find those designs and uh, pull them pull them into our board here So first thing we need to do is open up the library so the library is actually where we look at or where we can link in things that we've already created external to the program. There's all the defaults here, and there is a, a library defaults video on, uh, I believe it's session two or three. Uh, but we also need to sometimes add custom libraries, and we've done this once or twice before. But you can see here, this is the uh, inside inside this, this project that I'm working on, the actual TAH promo board. Uh, this is the search path. And then within the search path, so this is just a, you know, simply a library. I can just uh, choose the library I want to have here. Inside the search path, then I can go and I can actually add, and it pulls up that folder by default here. And these are some of the libraries and uh, modules I actually created. And so there's actually a couple on here. One is some, the two are the logos, another is the mouse bite here. Those are just uh, non plated through holes. And really, it's a, you know, a simple, a simple way to add. Basically, you put one one thing per, per module, so that each one is its own footprint file. All right, so we already have these in here. These are the 
three that were that actual amp hour logo and then up here as the mouse bite like I said before so we already have all of these in our library okay we're doing good now uh, we actually want to place the footprint so in this case we need to you know all of our connections were already made here we already see that all of the unconnected the rat's nest is at zero right now so that's a good sign it means all of our connections have been made from uh, part here to uh, you know part over here so if I actually go and delete something like this so let's delete this track we create you see the the rat's nest actually reappears and, and we're back to one so I control Z go back all right so we're gonna actually drop in a silk screen graphic now all right so we hit where we want to do it we hit list all and this is actually going to give you every single footprint that's available which is a little bit uh, intimidating now if you remember we can we added the libraries ourselves which means we also named the libraries ourselves so in the case of mousebyte we can see I have two libraries in here one called mousebyte one called mousebyte non-plated through hole so those are actually the ones that I can search for and that's the filter really helps a lot here and so we can search for oh shoot what was it? Uh, we can go back into the, <laughs> I've forgotten now. We can go back into preferences, library, and we can see often because it's just one thing at a time, we can see the the, uh, the footprint name, the single footprint or silk screen is actually the same name as the library. So let's add again. T A. Oh, it is not finding that. Let's try actually searching down here. Aha! The mystery continues. Ah, I know what's going on here. So, uh, <laughs> sometimes you also do not name the library the same as your uh, footprint. So let's try logo. Logo is another one. Logo is actually the default. Well, shoot. All right, we're going to do a little live troubleshooting here. So let's go to Dropbox, Projects, Promo Board. All right. And we should be able to see there is the library. So let's open up a notepad. And we're actually going to look at the internals of this layer. So this is actually the information for the library. And we can see, aha! That is why we have solved it. I named this layer one, so I did not match the library to the the library name to the actual module name, or the uh, in this case the footprint. So it's actually layer one. That's actually what I want to be searching for. What a fun exercise! <laughs> My increasing senility to the rescue. There they are. Hello, friends. <laughs> All right. So we have layer one. This will be uh, the main portion of the amp hour logo here. All right, we can move it around here. Uh, you notice also that in the if we went into the footprint editor, we'd actually see that where the mouse is right here is actually the anchor point for this logo, which is really nice because if you standardize the anchor point as I did here, so we place this logo, and if we zoom way, way, way in, <laughs> oh, that didn't work at all. Let's actually move this. So we're going to move this. It re-grabs re -grabs the anchor point. I hit M there. And so what we can do is we can hit spacebar to center our relative position. You see, oh, shoot. All right, I'll hit the spacebar again. Spacebar, we're going to click. That places it. You see I'm still at 0, 0, 0 down here. And now I'll be able to find that with the next uh, footprint. So if I hit A, oh, that's not A, I'm sorry. A is in schematic editor. List all. We're going to search for layer. Oh, layers right here. And so on this, I actually had two different layers, uh, or rather two different footprints. So this next section of the logo is actually, so so this one here, this this blue one we were just putting in, that's actually in silkscreen, which we can see by turning by turning that on or off. You see the silkscreen appears or disappears. Ah, and there you can actually see the alignment mechanism too. You see that's the little alignment dot, which is right at zero, zero. Those are helpful, but it's kind of hard to see sometimes, especially if you have the silk screen over top of it. Uh, let's see. And so we'll turn that's back 
on silk screen. And now we're going to put a second one over top of it. So this is the copper. So this is same, we're going to put it in the same position here. So we're going to find zero, uh, which can be a little tedious sometimes. And a little bit left. There we go. And that's centered. All right, great. So now this is in the copper. This is the copper layer. So if we just left it as it is, we'd have blue with silk screen and the red would be in copper, uh, which is okay. It's not it's not bad, but basically then you have what looks like it would look like traces do underneath a, a a solder mask. So what we want to do instead is load up the second logo here, and that's obviously layer two CU for copper, and then this one is layer two for solder mask. Aha. Now we could try and line it up, but really the best thing to do is again find the zero zero point that we just created. There we go, zero zero. So now if we actually select on the right here, if we turn off silk screen, we can turn that off. We can turn off copper, which we didn't notice any change there in the pink, but if we turn off this the uh, the solder mask relief first, we can see that turns on and off. That's off. And now we turn off copper and it's all gone. All right, so that's great. So what this is going to end up looking like with, with both the copper there and the solder mask relief, it's going to look like copper, and then uh, the solder mask relief is actually a part of the board that's not co coated in solder mask, so normally on most PCBs it's green, so that'll be pulled back. And then if there's a, a finish process, in the case of something like Oshpark, they do a, a, a Enig gold, or actually Enig is in includes gold, it's immersion nickel, immersion, or er, sorry, uh, nickel, immersion gold, I forget the E. Anyways, <clears throat> so this would end up looking gold, and that's that was the whole point. So having copper underneath and then having it plated in the uh, very, very thin layer of gold. All right, so this is how, <laughs> uh, this is one way to add a, uh, a silk screen component to your layout. I mean, these are logos, you can add logos, you can add uh, copper things. If you want to have, you know, maybe you only want your name in in the copper layer underneath, in the top copper layer. You only want to see it there. You don't want it to be very, you know, prominently shown. You just want it to be very small. So you might want to put revision numbers in there. You can put the same kind of. Uh, you can you can choose. Oops, sorry. That's the that would be the back copper. So if we chose the front copper here, if we wanted to put test under uh, underneath the uh, in the copper. So now we'd have. In this copper layer, we'd have test right here. That might be a little too close to the edge, but uh, if we actually move that over here, so then we'd have test. It would be in the copper layer underneath the solder mask. If you wanted to then do the same thing, we can choose the silk screen, or a front silk screen there, and we want to turn the layer on so we can actually see it as we draw it. Uh, but then we can also do the same thing. We can add text. We can add test. And, oop, that was an enter. Okay. All right. And now that will actually be in the silk screen. So that's kind of how one way to add a logo. Um, if you're interested in doing this kind of thing and you and you do want a logo, I I recommend going to uh, custom the custom silk screen graphics video in module five. That'll get you up and running quickly. And uh, it's a great way to add add to your boards, um, add a little bit of flair. Once you're done, obviously focus on the <laughs> the layout and everything else first. But it can it can be a really fun fun way to make your board stand out more. Thanks for watching.